bottles for classy fragrances, beverage bottles, and all kinds of packaging. Supermarkets and drugstores are full of his creations, some of which have become design classics. But who is behind the designs? It's Peter Schmidt, Germany's most successful product designer. But he isn't nearly as famous as his work. That's because I've always placed myself behind the products. I never wanted to be at the forefront. And I recognized early that I prefer to indulge my shyness and reserve rather than be a player in a world that's not mine at all. There are people who yearn to pose. I don't have that at all. I'm more afraid of myself. <coughs> <laughs> Peter Schmidt's work is everything to him. Four years ago, he planned to retire and sold his design studio. But now, even in retirement, he still works with a small team in a studio in Hamburg. He has just designed some perfume bottles again. Schmidt has designed more than 100 such bottles and has set many a trend. His best-known work was for Jill Zander, the little bottle is now an exhibit in New York's Museum of Modern Art. The form is very important, and it can reflect the fragrance. But if it's too refined, it goes beyond the fragrance. So the secret of great scents and great bottles is that they aren't completely congruent. And then imagination, which women have more than men do, that also plays a role. Born in 1937 in the southern German city of Bayreuth, Schmidt moved to Hamburg after studying art. Commissions for fashion designer Jill Zander in the 1980s secured his breakthrough as a product designer. He also designed world-famous logos for the Hugo Boss and Yope labels. He's true to his minimalist style in all his works. He has also shaped some symbols for the public sector in Germany. I'd have to have a lot of time to consider, first, what I've done and when I did it all. There are things I've chosen to forget and don't want to know about. But with others that I rediscover, I think, hey, that wasn't bad at all. After more than 20 years serving major labels, Peter Schmidt is looking for a change of pace, and he has found it in classical music. He first became a fan while still living in Bayreuth, which is synonymous with Wagner. In 1994, he designed his first stage set. Since then, he has worked for ballet, theater, and opera, as in this staging of Parsifal. He has created stage sets and costumes in Hamburg, Bamberg, and Zurich, and considers such work a separate realm from product design. In my original profession, there is lots of preparation, presentations. You can go to the printing press or the glass factory and observe how something is made, and you can interrupt it. But in this world, where we are now, you can't do that. The curtain rises, the lights go on, and everything has to work. And that, of course, is very fascinating. Schmidt has contributed a great deal to cultural life in Hamburg, where he now lives. In 2006, the city government made him an honorary professor. He has also created an architectural monument. In 2003, he redesigned the foyer and lounge of Hamburg's state opera. Schmidt can't seem to stand still. I could never imagine restricting myself to a single theme. That's never worked for me. And I don't see it working in the future either. Part of my interest is that I have an almost pathological yearning for conversation with people. I think life is mainly a dialogue with other people. To generate new space for this dialogue, Schmidt has now designed a future museum for the city of Frankfurt. It focuses on the ecological and social consequences of human activity. The designer is thinking about tomorrow. I often have conversations about projects involving young people. What's the use if I know something but can't pass it on? 
Peter Schmidt continues to work with young designers on projects such as a program brochure for the Munich Philharmonic Orchestra. But during all of this activity, of course, he's dreaming up new designs for perfume bottles.